revival of the church and uh, for every one of us. Um, I would like to invite any one of you there online. Would you just uh, invite more friends to come and join us together? You are most welcome to join the wonderful Sunday service here at All Nation Mission Fellowship. So, All Nation Mission Fellowship we have at least three different services. So, if you want to join us, the English service, it will be in the morning at 11 o'clock. And if you want to join us together in the Vietnamese, uh, in, sorry, the Vietnamese service will be at 11 o'clock in the morning. And the English service will be at 2.30 in the morning. Uh, and if you want to join us, the uh, English and Mandarin services, we also have two services. One service is at 11 o'clock in the morning with the English and Mandarin services. And another service will be at 7 p.m. in Rosemead. So we'd like to invite you to come and join us together. And this moment we are going to have a very special testimony time. And I would like to invite uh, uh, Mr. Henry or Brother Thomas. Would you please just come and give very challenging and encouraging testimony to other people and how our God is so, so, so good to every one of us. So we thank you for all of you. We thank you for your many prayer. We thank you for your many support. Okay? So who wants to share the testimony at the moment? Okay. Let us put our hands together and, and invite Brother Thomas. And I'm telling you, if God can use his product and change his life, God can do the same thing for you. Amen. Amen. I want to encourage the church. Uh, you just need to worry about there that uh, every single day uh, we want to see uh, the uh, glory uh, just really uh, work through us and to uh, help those who are who are sick, who are ill around us. I want to share a quick story of uh, what happened a few weeks ago. I um, I met an individual who was uh, really sick and um, he couldn't walk. He was 26 years old, but he had a childlike faith. And, um, this sickness where um, he um, he was just uh, I don't know what it's called, but um, he just acted like a four year old. And so um, one day he felt sick, and then he went to the doctor, and the doctor gave him too much antibiotics. He was paralyzed, he couldn't walk. So when I came to see him, his dad was like, "Have you carried this big man? Four hundred fifty pounds, um, just really disabled." And I felt like. Um, that the Lord um, wanted me to pray for this young man, and so we prayed for him. And uh, um, about a week later, I came back back to see him, and and um, you know the parents were like, "Praise God, Jesus is healing my son." And then thereafter, oh, uh, this young man him. is uh, is starting to stand up. And then days later, after that, I came back and he started walking. And mm. so um, as I pray, you know, he's receiving the healing because, like I said, he has childlike faith. And so um, the glory of God is what each and every single one of us are carrying. And so don't be afraid to pray for individuals out there. And God will manifest his glory through us into the individual so that their faith can be strengthened. And so I encourage every single one of you out there, if you're led to pray, please pray. Um, whether it's sharing your testimony or you see a person that's afflicted by some kind of illness, Please pray for them, and God will do the rest. Um, I thank you for your time, and so uh, we're going to ask Brother Henry to come up and share his testimony. Amen? Amen. Wow. Thank you so much, Brother Thomas. Our church is a very powerful church. Hallelujah. It's not because we are powerful, but because our God is so powerful. Yeah. He healed, He delivers, He blessed, and He used every one of us. And I'm just amazing to see how God So I would like to encourage more of you to come and serve together with us here at All Nation Mission Fellowship and Vision TV and the Nation House of Prayer. Let us put our hand together, a big hand to welcome Mr. Henry to come and share the testimony. Thanks for me. You don't need to uh, give a big hand to me. Let's give a big hand to God. Amen. 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 Yeah. 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 This is good work. This is our work. This is our personal good. Okay, this is our personal work because it's a God work. God is so good. You know what? I don't know in China. Okay, I don't know in two years how many church you have to uh, uh, to build or you have to move from one place to another place, especially at a big church. Uh, I 
I, I didn't ask Pastor Joshua, but in America, we have some, some kind of persecution, some kind of, uh, I don't mean the persecution, but things are kind of, all kind of the uh, turb turbulence. I mean that in two years, we had to move three places. Did you, did, you, did, you, did you believe that? But that is true, that's our situation right now. Sometimes we are discouraged too, because I don't know what, 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 what's happening. Okay, we just settled down for a while, and then we had to move. And then we moved to the second place too, we spent a lot of money, especially Pastor Joshua spent a lot of money to demolish and to, to build the new, the, the, the new uh, uh, studio for the, uh, for the uh, TV station. And then we had to move, after two months we move. Okay, what's going on? Until the last minute too, I don't know where to move. We don't know where to go. Okay, wow, God, okay, we, we, are, we are so disappointed because we are exhausted. Okay, we exhaust everything. God, we don't know what to do. But finally, we get this place. We know we, we, we go, we sit in the places, it's much better than the previous one. Especially to me, I like it because I don't go to come upstairs. That's what I like it because this one is the third floor. Okay, if, if those who have any kind of uh, limitations, so you're yeah, welcome to come here because you are free. They can walk in or walk out freely. Okay, so that, that's a good part of that. I would like to thank God for what He's paid for. Uh, sometimes we are disappointed, he knows that. But you know, so we, he requires us to be faithful to him. And he's good. Uh, we, we need to praise him at all times. Sometimes in down time, in, in, in up time. So we, we, we have to praise him, okay, God? So uh, I would like to encourage every one of you, okay? So believe him, okay? So God has a good plan for us. Unless we are faithful to him, we are perseverance, okay, uh, on his word. And I have another thing that, uh, uh, in recently too, I don't know, because some people say that, uh, okay, uh, we, we attended last week to a conference. Um, this uh, mm, is uh, set up by the Vietnamese uh, at AG. Um, that we can call it, what, what is the, uh, 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 yeah, the Vietnamese that we have to. Uh, and then uh, I, when, when I saw the superintendent, you know, come over here, he said, what he says that is that, okay, we, we, we have to run. Okay, we have to run, we don't have time to, to walk anymore. And I don't know, for some reason, I never speak up loud, okay, in public. But my wife and I, okay, we speak loud, yes, we have to run. We have to run, we have no time to walk anymore. Okay, but sometimes we run, and people criticize us. Okay, especially Pastor Drew, I said, run it. Try to criticize, they are crazy man, okay, you run, you come from China, you do you know what you do in America. But then it has to run. It's time to run, it's not time to walk anymore. Okay, the second thing is that he had to build 50 church. Okay, wow. And, and then Pastor, sometimes he told us we need to have uh, 50 students to come to America, okay, to become a missionary. And why well, is this coincident? Okay, that's not coincident, but it's a thing must plan. Look at things, but at some point, okay, we don't need to. Okay, we just we, we just walk. Okay, by our sight, uh, not by feel. And that's the reason why we have some kind of conflict. Okay, I pray that this time to unite and okay, unity, so that we can move forward. Okay, for God's kingdom, not for any individual. So we pray that we have time for us to sit down. Okay, we have time to uh, work together. Okay, for God's kingdom. Uh, and again, I would like to thank God for this opportunity, for this for this place we, we meet today. And I know that we have a lot of technical problems, okay, so please bear me, but we just moved in here for one week. So I think we have time uh, to, to um, uh, embellish that and to make everything perfect. So thank you so much uh, for your uh, following us uh, on the live stream, and we expect you to come to join us, okay, to celebrate. Okay, what has done to us? Okay, thank you so much. Once again, thank you so much, uh, Brother Henry, for the wonderful encouragement to every one of us. Yes, our God is always faithful, and our God is always good. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Yeah. Because our God is so faithful. And I would like to give another testimony before we are going to have a time uh, in the seat and listen to the word of the Lord. Um, right now, Vision TV, we have the channel available on Facebook, on YouTube, on live stream. But I want you to give you a very good uh, report that you now can also watch on TV. Hallelujah! That is a very powerful thing that God has opened to us. And uh, the good thing is that we are not only a channel, we are also uh, really a TV station. And then we have our own server. 
And I want you to know that we are building up the server that can accommodate about 1 million viewers at the same time. It's not only 100, it's not about 1,000, it's not about 100,000, but God has given us a vision that we are looking forward to saying that a million people are coming to watch our program together. And with that, you can also see that how God begins to use us in a very mighty and powerful way. So I would like to invite you to come and join us together and serve together and you can join us and you can watch our program here at Vision Studio. So Vision Studio, the second one that I want to give the testimony is that we have three locations for Vision Studio. So we have in Garden Grove, the Vision Studio, we have English, Vietnamese, uh, Spanish uh, language and then in Rosemead, we have Mandarin, English and uh, Arabic language and then the one in Los Angeles near Chinatown we have English, Cantonese and other languages as time go by so at the same time we also have All Nation House of Prayer so we'd like to invite you to come and join with us and begin to pray for the nation we want to see that every night at the studio at All Nation House of Prayer Mission Studio that we are going to see that 20, 30 prayer warriors are coming to pray together isn't God good? Hallelujah. Yeah. So be ready for that move. Be ready to see that God is going to bring the greatest revival ever in California, the United States, and all of the nation. If you believe with me, just say hallelujah. hallelujah. Thank you so much. And uh, this time we are going to have the time to intercede for the nation, for our church in a moment. So would you just stand up right now and just begin to lift up our voice, begin to believe, and begin to sing together. Brother Mark and the worship team, you can come and to join me again right now at, at this moment. And begin to just pour our heart before God right now. We need Him more than ever before. We need Him more than ever before. So just put our heart together and begin to pray for our church, especially. We just give thanks to God for the great things that He has done. We just give thanks to God for all the blessing, for all the doors that He has opened to every one of us. We just give thanks to God for His faithfulness. So we can just come right now, just first of all, just pray together for our church. Just give thanks to the Lord. Lord for all the door that he has opened. Thank you for every one of our church members, brothers and sisters. We are all the people who serve the Lord here in this way. And we pray that God is going to open this 